I guess welcome uh, to the Yellowstone Club in uh, right outside Bozeman, Montana. This is Big Sky, Montana. That's another fall. <laughs> oh my god. And he just came back from the hospital. We can just take it a little slower. Alright, go so I know where to go. Go so I know where to go. I don't know where I'm going, I'm testing something new. Well, test something new in front of me. Am I gonna fall again? Hopefully not. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is Connor in his natural state. <laughs> gone and I have to find someone a breakfast and this is the cheapest way and the healthiest way to do it the thing is they need you off and on by like 8 30 or something so what time is it right it's eight o'clock so I got half an hour to get the hell off this mountain should be fun all right I'll see you guys so, oh my god, quick update, I'm taking a quick break. Uh, I'm the genius who listened to my dad yesterday when he said we don't use this one because it's too steep. I was like, eh, I've skied that before. It's not, it's steep, it's not too steep. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it right there. Um, I've gone to the powder because it's a little bit easier for me. Or I'm just an idiot, but I think it's a little bit easier. I should have listened to him and not gone up here. Because this is stupid. When I get to the top of the ridge, I'm taking the skins off and going down. I'm, I'm done. But that was good. I also have to get to breakfast, so no big deal. Alright, cool. I gotta go. That was a good little break now. Only 50 seconds. Let's wait the extra few seconds until it's one minute. Alright, that's one minute. Alright, here's the update. I made up the ridge. Look at that. That's the ridge. You can't even see the, the bottom is, I guess, that right there, you know. Ah, uh, that. So, yes. It's pretty damn steep. I made it up though. The top's up there, but I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to get it out this late. Well, that feels really good and I also feel kind of sick, so. <laughs> There's the asthma. All right, back down. Hello, Lindsay. Hello, Isabel. All right, so Isabel's about to leave and uh, they have me as their driver. Mom, have I told you that this is unsafe? Yeah, she has. So, I've said it's unsafe, but we're still gonna do it. And I'm also trying the new GoPro because I just found it. It's kind of cool. What do you think, Liz? Oh, exciting. Doesn't it look like every other GoPro? 
exactly like I think it literally <laughs> looks the exact same. <laughs> like there's no way you would know unless you looked at the yeah. number. Um, <laughs> All right, so we made it through the pass, uh, and we're at the airport now. This is like the smallest airport I've ever been to. Look at that. That's it, like that, and then that's the runway, and that's it. And my brother's clearly anxious to get going. So we're gonna get going, we're gonna go through the pass again. So it's my last night. It's uh, 10 o'clock, almost on the dot. And uh, I'm planning to skin tomorrow. But since it's so late, I figured I'd uh, get a head start. So I put the skins on my skis, which I probably should have done because they're a little too sticky. Uh, packed up my backpack, which really doesn't require very much. It's a bottle of Powerade and uh, my backup warm jacket, just in case I get a little too cold. Got my skis, or my boots on the uh, drying rack. Um, gloves, my small gloves, and my warming gloves for when I get to the top. I've got my headlamp with a new battery, hat, and goggles, even though I didn't really use them last time. Uh, ski pants, everything else is like laid out right inside, so yeah, tomorrow should be a good morning. And uh, I'm gonna go out now and have some fun and hopefully make it back at a reasonable hour so I can go skating tomorrow. All right, see you guys. Alrighty, good morning. Um, hopefully I can remove that sound from the boot warmer, but uh, it's about, what, 6.46, got the skis. We're gonna go up there now. It's kind of dark, but you know, my brother said it takes him an hour to get to the top. I expect it's probably gonna take me an hour and a half, um, maybe even two hours. So I loaded up a bunch of music and books on my phone just to keep me going, but yeah. All right, let's get going. Um, Cause yeah, I gotta go. Right, good morning. You definitely can't see me. What if I do this? Um, bright and early. It's on 645. And I'm headed up the mountain. I'm on my morning skin. Exciting, exciting. Right, check in later. This is one of those cool things about waking up early. You get to see the uh, snow. So, I just got up to the uh, first point of like decision making. I can either go nice and easy up that way, which you can't see, but, or I can go up what I did yesterday, which I'm definitely not gonna do, or I can do the medium route. I think I'm gonna do the easy route, because I haven't made it all the way up to the top yet. So I kinda wanna you know, take it as easy as possible, and uh, you know, Slow and steady wins the race, I think. Right? Tortoise in the hair? I'm gonna be a tortoise. Huh? I'm a turtle. Okay, cool. <sighs> Alright. So, I've uh, gotten way further than I thought. Uh, that's, the, that's the cafe right there. And uh, I guess the summit's all the way up there. I don't know if I'll make it up to the summit, but uh, mainly because the snow up there just sucks. And uh, I don't know if I can skin it comfortably, but wow, impressive. All right, there we have it, we made it. That's cafe. Good morning! Woo, woo, 